Hey, it's Austin. Um, I just wanted to share that I'm having um, a moment of feeling thankful for being trans. Which might sound weird because a lot of people view being trans as like this great hardship. Which of course it is at times because you have to deal with discrimination and people's ignorance and misconceptions and, um, you know, like difficulty getting the treatment and medical stuff that you need. Um, a lot of people sadly, you know, get disowned by their family and things like that. So, I mean, yes, all those things are really horrible and really difficult. Um, but aside from things like that, um, at like right now, I feel thankful for being trans because I think, well, what I'm feeling right now is that it's exciting and it feels really special to go through the process of like realizing who you are and learning more about yourself and um, sort of getting an interesting window into culture and human nature and the mind and the nature of gender and all that, that non-trans people often don't have. Like, we get to think about things and experience things and notice things that a lot of other people wouldn't be able to, necessarily. Um, or maybe they would be able to, but they don't. So I think that's cool. And another reason why I feel thankful for being trans is that it gets me to, um, or at least at the moment, I feel like I am really appreciating who I am and just that I get to be who I am. Well, of course, for some people, maybe they know who they are, but they don't get to be how they want to be because of money or societal reasons or family reasons or whatever. Um, but, you know, I get to be who I am, who I need to be. I, that maybe sounded confusing. I get to be who I am and I get to be who I need to be. Um, so I just feel really thankful for that. And I think that if I wasn't trans, like if I was just cisgendered, I wouldn't know what that's like because I wouldn't have anything to compare it to. You know, like I would just be myself, same old, same old, mm, kind of boring, don't think much about it. You don't think much about how you're actually lucky to be who you really are um, and get to live that. So it, being trans gives me something to compare with being my real self because I know what it's like to not be my real self in an active way. Um, so that just helps me not take it for granted, you know? It's like somebody who has some horrible sickness or, you know, like, what I can't think of a good example, and then, you know, they get better, so they have something to compare their wellness to. So I think when we have that kind of situation, we can more easily be thankful. Um, so... Yeah, um, I think that's cool. Yeah, and then also, like, it's sort of a rite of passage, you know, transitioning. Um, like, you get to choose your name to reflect how you really feel. You get to choose the type of processes you go through in the sense of choosing how you want to transition. Well, I guess if you're fortunate enough to have resources to do that. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, you get to be really intentional as you transition. Again, if you're lucky enough to be able to do that. I know that some people aren't lucky enough to do that, and I think that's really unfortunate, and I feel sorry for them. Um, so... Yeah, it's just sort of a cool, really validating process. So, just wanted to share that. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.